Code Red made its debut in July 2001 and had a profound impact on the global computer landscape. Despite being only 3,569 bytes in size, it infected over computers and hundreds of thousands of servers worldwide. Its primary infection targets were North America, Europe, and Asia, with its attacks being mainly focused on the US. Code Red was a computer worm that exploited a vulnerability in the Microsoft Internet Information Services servers. It spread via a get default.eta request on TCP port 80, carrying a payload of <laughs> defacing web pages as it went. The worm also had a strict schedule, infecting from the 1st to the 19th and attacking from the 20th to the 27th. Remarkably, it resided entirely in the system's memory allowing it to persist on infected devices despite wiping their hard drives. Code Red's infection phase involved rapid spreading through infected servers. It multiplied on each infected device, sometimes more than programmed due to a coding bug. This multiplication contributed to its exponential growth rate and global impact. I was not able to determine the exact infection counts due to inconsistent sources, but I know it was a lot. EI Digital Security employees Mark Meifred and Ryan Perman first noticed the worm during this phase. On the 20th, Code Red launched distributed denial of service attacks on specific targets, including Microsoft IIS servers and Quest Telecommunications. These attacks caused widespread service outage and disruption, including the blocking of non.mil networks for the United States Department of Defense. Even the White House was not safe as WhiteHouse.gov's IP address had to be changed to fend off the attack. The total cost of cleanup was estimated at 2.6 billion USD, with lost productivity being a significant factor. On April Boss, Code Red instilled fear into the public due to its potential for widespread damage. The attack highlighted the vulnerability of computer systems and the ease with which anyone could launch such an attack. This fear persisted even after the attack ended as the FBI warned of a potential resurgence on August 1st. While the worm did rise again, security patches were implemented to prevent Code Red from accessing vulnerable web servers, reducing its second impact to practically nothing. However, it's likely that the worm still exists somewhere, as it was blocked by improved security measures and not erased. So don't go poking around the Microsoft IIS server unprotected. Which brings us to our sponsor. No one! Because I am irrelevant and don't get sponsored. Not even by Raid Shadow Legends. In conclusion, the donator technology it can be used for purposes both good and bad. The story of Code Red underscores the importance of security in a connected world. It remains a cautionary tale about the potential consequences of failing to patch vulnerabilities properly. Stay safe out there. The internet is dangerous. dangerous.